so I'm headed off to my friend Shannon's kombucha class. Um, I'm so excited for her. She lives in my community. She just moved here not too long ago and she has really just taken off with her business. It's called Brave Acre and this is her very first class that she's teaching on her property and um, so I'm really excited to see what she's got going on. About 2010, you know, we were losing our home and really we entered this whole homesteading lifestyle and these things that we're doing now through this financial crisis. Um, we sold everything out of our house, the flat screen TV off the wall, bedroom furniture, people just came in, they bought stuff, we just had a huge uh, house sale, took every bit of the money that we had, compiled it when we built this tiny little 16 by 16 cabin. It's made out of pallets. That's why I'm showing you this picture. And um, we decided that we were going to live in it for a certain time period. We really didn't designate. We're gonna live in it for a time period so we could get back on our feet financially. About our health and we can't think about it in the terms that we've, we've learned all our lives, you know? We can't think about it in the same way. We, start, we have to start asking, you know, God what He thinks about it. You know, so we, we gotta start thinking about this logically and, you know, seeing it, you know, s figuring out what is truth because um, the masses are going towards that and. And I'm just asking, if you look around, have you seen anything that says to you that that diet's working? Store-bought kombucha, you can tell when you tap on a lid, they, they are right. They're pretty good for a while, and that really depends. You know, in the fridge, what you're doing, as with anything that's living, and it is living, when you put it in the fridge, it slows the processes down, so it slows the fermenting down. So these will last for a little while in the fridge after they've been opened and just taste test some homebrew. What you've got there is pineapple. And this is a second ferment, which we'll talk about in a little bit. This is peach. Now, every batch I make tastes a little bit different. This is pineapple. You'll find, you know, your own rhythm with it. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you this, what a woman told me that changed my life, and this is the honest truth, it does not have to taste good. Everything you put in your mouth doesn't have to taste good. <laughs> changed my life because for me, I had always, it had been a taste thing. If it was sweet, if it was this, if it was that, but you know. Um, it's just like the good choices in life. Most of your choices in life, the good ones are. The hardest to the do, hardest. right? Or yeah, the hardest. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It ain't sweet. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Show you guys one of these scobies. This is a really thin one, guys. These ones that you're seeing today, you know, are thin because I've been growing them out for you to give you a piece of it. But when you get home and you start making this, your scobies will get thick and they'll be, you know, they'll be about that thick. Sometimes they'll get even bigger than that. Somebody gives you the little Amish, the little friendship bread, oh, yeah. or a bread starter, right? They're giving you, you know, a piece that has the culture in it, and you're taking it and doing something with right. it. Anyway, it'll probably make a new one up here. And I'm going to let it go a couple more days. Learn. Play around with it, you know, so that you, you kind of get a feel for what it's like. I put that over it. I've got my fruit in the bottom. I take this, and I pour into here. I pour all the way up to about this place on the rim, this somewhere right in here. Scoby. So I kind of, I kind of have a process where I have a stainless steel pot like this or bowl. So this is my friend Shannon, and mm -hmm. um, she has Brave Acre, and she just hosted a wonderful kombucha class and I think everyone really learned a lot and I learned a lot and I've been making kombucha for a couple of years <laughs> now so um but yeah so how do you think it went I think it went good I mean I did not expect to have that many people here mm -hmm. for a first class yeah. and a first time 
and it was just it was a good time yeah yeah i loved it i did too yeah um so so this was your first class you've ever done here yeah first class we've done as brave acre mm -hmm. yeah and um so are you like you have a youtube channel yes and um it's just brave acre mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah um and what's your website it's www.braveacre.com okay yeah and so what are your plans like what are your what oh. are your, i know you got lots of, you're like me yeah. you got lots of dreams and big yeah. plans and stuff so <laughs> well the plan is is to turn this really small two acres into a fully functioning micro farm you know that's our goal um, you know, chickens and goats and the whole works, grow as much of our own food as we can, mm -hmm. um, provide a stream of income for our family with a flower farm. Um, and then the kind of overarching the umbrella thing is just to teach people that this lifestyle is possible mm -hmm. on really small acreage. Right. Because most people don't have large yeah. tracts of land. So, you know, the average family can do this in a small space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. So those are the, the plans, the dreams. Good. Well, I'm glad you're doing classes. That's, uh, I know teaching is your thing. You love, you know, you just love yeah. being able to share um, what you've learned over the years. And that's kind of what we like about like YouTube and, mm -hmm. um, you know, teaching classes locally. What, yeah. what other classes do you plan on teaching? Um, well, definitely soap making, because that's one yeah. of the biggest things I've done over the past 10 years. I love that. And I really want to pass that along. Um, Probably, you know, breads, lots of fermented stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else major. Uh, another thing, I mean, maybe not me necessarily teaching, but mm -hmm. my goal is to like bring other people in. So if mm -hmm. I know somebody that's really good at this thing and right. I'm not, like say composting or something, yeah. then I can bring somebody oh, else cool. in, you know, who can teach and we'll, we'll just kind of be the hub, yeah. you know, for the learning. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. And um, that means a lot. Uh, <laughs> and I know, like, she has supported me um, through my endeavors, and yeah. I am so excited to be able to support her now that she's started her. Finally. Yeah, she started her <laughs> thing um, here. Just, I mean, she just lives five minutes down the road yeah. from us. So we're growing this like really cool homesteading, yes. um, natural living community around here, mm -hmm. and we're just really excited to see where God takes it. Yeah. Um, so. Anyways, I guess that's about it. Yeah. So talk to you next time. Bye.